what's up youtube welcome back to my channel for another video y'all if you're new to my channel hey hi hello glad you're here um do your girl a favor on your way out and go ahead and hit a huge like button for your girl and if y'all want to subscribe please at least let the video play for a couple minutes because y'all youtube ain't having it and it's gonna take that subscription right on the way for me tomorrow so if you do want to subscribe for more great videos then just go ahead and do that once you're done watching this video today y'all and without further ado, let's go ahead and dive on in this video. Today's video is all about skincare. It's kind of like my skincare routine, what I like to use on my face, um, what I like to use on my body in the shower, what I like to use after I get out the shower. You know, how your skin, skin feeling out good and, and just soft and luxurious, you know, all that good stuff. So I have my little basket here, y'all, to show what I like to put on my face. So I have sensitive skin sometimes. Um, if I use certain products, it might make my face just kind of like feel raw. Um, I don't know if that's like eczema or if it's just my skin being sensitive, but I have to be careful with what I use. So my first item y'all, cause sometimes my skin gets a little bit dry. So for my face, I like to use this Palmer's, this is Cocoa Butter Formula Palmer's Skin Therapy Oil for the face. And y'all basically it's an oil but it has a very nice texture it absorbs really good on the face and it's just something i like to put on my face after i wash it because you know normally if i wash my face it might be a little dry so that's something great to follow up with so speaking of face wash y'all i mentioned this in one of my other videos this is the hemp skincare pure oval extracts and this is the cbd clean sweet foaming facial cleanser y'all this stuff is so good it doesn't really have a scent to it but it just it foams really really well when you wash your face and it feels really good on the skin and even like after it doesn't feel as dry as your skin normally would after you wash your face so again this is the hemp's cbd clean sweep um foaming facial cleanser y'all this i found at marshall's i like to go there about maybe once a month and just kind of see what all they got and y'all this stuff is like gold in a bottle and this is the nourishing facial serum and it's hemp and aloe and y'all it says on here that it hydrates restores and, and calms and it's recommended for any skin type and i would say that this stuff works really really good again my face tends to get kind of dry even raw sometimes after i wash it so this stuff it's like a dropper bottle and I need to go ahead and see if I can find it again. But it's just some little drops. You put some in your hand. And it doesn't take a whole lot. Just a few drops. And then you just basically rub it in your face. It has a great texture to it. And I like to put this on after I wash my face. And again, that's the Nourishing Facial Serum. Hemp's and Aloe. And I got this at Marshall's. You might can find it at TJ Maxx. Um, but I'm not sure who all has this yet. So I'm going to have to keep looking into that. But I will link all these products. Ugh, can't talk. I will link all these products down below. If I can't find a link, I'll just drop the name. So, y'all, this stuff is available for a dollar. You can get it at the drugstore, at Walgreens. I found it at Dollar Tree. And this is the Vaseline Cocoa Glow. And it has an amazing texture. And it makes your skin just feel good, makes it look good. Can't get it to focus. But, y'all, it's just so smooth. Like, it makes your skin feel so silky. And it's so easy to rub it in. And I put this on my face, but I also use it on my body too. Because, I mean, who doesn't want their skin to be nice and soft? So, yeah, this is the Vaseline Cocoa Glow. And like I said, you can get this for a dollar. at Like Dollar Tree, um, Walgreens, and probably a lot, a lot of other places too. But I normally get it at Dollar Tree or Walgreens. This is the Dove Intensive Cream. And this stuff is really good too because it also leaves your skin feeling really really smooth and silky without it feeling like too heavy like you know if you put certain products on and it might just leave your skin feeling greasy or whatever this won't do that and again that's that dove intensive cream i love putting it on my skin and my face because my face is very picky as far as what i could use so i like to use this because it just makes it feel good so normally i'll alternate between which ones i want to use i don't use them all you know the same time or the same day but these are just a bunch of good items that are easy reach items for me and they just leave my skin feeling really really good y'all and the next product, y'all, I got this online. This is Lancome. It's called Hydra Zen. And y'all, this stuff has a great texture too. I think this is a little pricier. I might have got it from JCPenney. I'm not sure, but it's almost empty. So that tells y'all right there, it is legit. 
So if you want something that's going to leave your face feeling really smooth and refreshed, this is it. Hydra Zen by Lancome. And y'all, this last item, I also found it at um, Marshall's. But I saw that they sell it at Walmart and some other places too. And this is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Max Glow Infusion Drops. And when I say this stuff makes my skin just feel... It feels good. It has a glow to it naturally without having to put any type of product. And y'all, this stuff is amazing. I put maybe three drops in my hand and just rub it together, rub it in. And this is awesome. I'm almost out of it too, and I'm kind of sad, but I'm going to see if I can get it maybe at Walmart. Because I think that's the cheapest place to find it. But again, I did find that product at um, Marshall's. So y'all, that's about it for my face. Um, what I put on my face. But the next items is what I like to use in the shower. And then two after getting out the shower or in the morning at night. Just good stuff for you. So y'all, the first item, this is the Jason Body Wash. This one is apricot and white tea. And y'all, this stuff is amazing. It smells so good. I love using this in the shower. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So not only is it going to leave you smelling good, it lasts on your skin for a couple hours. And... It just gives you a good, good clean. You know, your skin doesn't feel super dry when you get out the shower. So when you do go to put on lotion and stuff, you're not going to need a whole lot because that stuff right there is awesome in the shower. And again, that's the Jason um, body wash. Again, with that, I'm not sure where all you can find it. I know on Amazon, I've gotten like the big, big bottles like that for super cheap. Um, I found that one at Marshall's. So needless to say, I, I spent some coin at Marshall's, but it was worth it. I love it, y'all. And that's the Jason um, Hydrating Body Wash. This next one you can find it anywhere. This is Olay Moisture Ribbons. And this one is in the scent Shea with notes of Peony Blossom. And I've been running through this as well because, y'all, this smells great. Um, any Olay body washes are going to feel great on the skin. They're moisturizing. And, again, you don't have to follow up with a whole lot of lotion afterwards. So, this is good Olay Moisture Ribbons. And this is the shade Notes of Peony. And y'all, if y'all want to smell good when you get out the shower, use one of them body washes, y'all. I promise y'all, it's going to smell so good on your skin. You're going to feel like you put on fragrance, but you didn't. you just smelling good from your shower. Y'all, this next one is the Honey Pot. It is the sensitive foaming wash, you know, for your feminine areas. Um... It doesn't have a fragrance. This stuff, it just cleans. It leaves you feeling super clean. And a little goes a long way. This lasts me for quite a while. And you can get this um, at either Target or Walgreens. And again, it's for your feminine areas down there. Because, you know, you don't want to just wash with anything. Because, you know, it'll throw off your pH. And I haven't found that this messes with my pH. And I love it. And again, that's the Honey Pot Sensitive Foam and Wash. Y'all also like to follow up as far as moisturizing my skin with some pure aloe vera gel. Um, you can normally find this almost anywhere too. This is just full 99% aloe vera. It has a very smooth texture, super moisturizing, rubs in really, really easy. It's absorbent. I even use this on my edges sometimes and just, you know, put my little wrap on there to lay them down. Good stuff. For my deodorant after the shower, you guys, I use Secret Clinical. Y'all, I seen somebody else talk about this on YouTube, and honestly, like, it's the best deodorant that I've tried thus far. I do tend to sweat a lot in the summer times, and with this one, you just, you know, get it pushed up there. You get you a swipe, you know, put it under your underarms. You can put it under your, you know, chest area if you tend to sweat. You can really put it anywhere that you want to just keep dry and fresh. And this is really good, y'all. And again, that's Secret Clinical Strength Completely Clean. It's the clear um, deodorant gel. And y'all, this is my baby. This is the Dove Whipped Body Cream Lavender and Coconut. And this one is almost gone, so I'm going to have to uh, re-up on this. I cannot get this to focus, y'all. But anyways, y'all, it's almost gone. And it's so good because it leaves your skin feeling really soft and smooth. So if you got a boo or a bae, you know, they're going to be feeling on your skin and trying to figure out why your skin is so soft. And the whole time, you're using some Dove. So again, that's the Dove Whip Body Cream. And it's really, really good for moisturizing your skin, either after the shower, in the morning, at night. Anytime, you name it, this stuff is the bomb. 
And y'all, my last little product is the All Free Acne Moisturizer. I meant to mention this one as far as my skincare, my facial skin. Facial care products. Y'all, this is very moisturizing. If your skin is acne prone, you know, this is a great moisturizer to use before you apply makeup or just after you um, wash your face in general. This is great stuff. Um, it has a very light texture. Um, it's lightly scented and it really, really helps to clear your skin if you are a little bit more acne prone. Great moisturizer. Again, it's Neutrogena Oil Free Acne Moisturizer. Y'all, that concludes all of my facial care, skincare products, you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want your skin to feel good, if you want to look good, smell good, you know, just try out some of those products, you guys. And before I go, y'all, again, be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. You know, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to be notified every time I post. And y'all, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and head out. But y'all, be safe, stay motivated, elevated, be blessed, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.